anything that's genetically modified because we do not have. Brought down into the carnival around those. Fantastic find by some of my fellow. Is something going on in the earth in New York? A mysterious sound is driving people in Brooklyn crazy. Alcohol, cigarettes, the donut hamburger sure they're all pretty bad for you but most people know that and at least try to limit their intake somewhat to these items even a little bit but it's the things we don't think about that can really cause damage things we use every day so regularly we don't even think about how its constant use could actually be killing us the real culprit is the chair we were given legs for a reason most third world cultures don't even have chairs and they walk an average of 10 miles a day we in the modern world on the other hand spend most of our entire waking days sitting down people go right from bed to sitting on the toilet after which they sit at the breakfast table then they sit in a car as they drive to work and spend the entire day sitting at a desk only getting up to sit in the toilet and in the cafeteria then they sit in the car to drive and sit at the local bar for happy hour then when they've had enough of that, they go drive home and spend the rest of the day sitting in a comfortable chair watching TV before they crawl to bed to recover from all the physical exertion that day. And when people go out, they sit at a restaurant or a movie theater. Sitting all day is far worse for you than you might think. I mean, it depends what you're doing when you're sitting and what if you're meditating. Ah, oh, you see, you see, welcome back, Goons. You're watching Explore the Weird. Hey! We got some more for you page content. Nice. Why don't you uh, interact with the video? All right, let's uh, keep it going. What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? All right, this is for people who are prone to getting cavities. I've had like a thousand cavities in my life, and I was tired of getting cavities, and I was tired of people telling me that it's just genetic. You can't help it. Some people get cavities, and some people don't. So I was like, I'm going to look into this. And so I started Googling and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. And I found this book by a dentist named Ellie Phillips. All right, it's called Kiss Your Dentist Goodbye. Highly recommend. And one of the things she talks about most in this book is something called xylitol, which is like a sugar made from birch bark in Finland, so you know it's legit. <clears throat> she writes, adults who regularly eat around two teaspoons of xylitol in any form each day can remove 95% of cavity-forming germs from their mouths within six months. They make it in gum and mints and stuff like that. I get mine from this company called Epic Dental. If you get it though, just make sure you store it away from your pets because it's toxic to animals. We all shit in the shower. But what's your preferred method? Do you A, waffle stomp it down the drain? Or do you leave the toilet seat up and co- Wait, what was the last one? What was the last one? <laughs> so you need to check this out. We just sent our kids to bed. This Jurassic World was still playing, and we came across this. You were trying to tell me something before. What? Earlier, in the lift, before the Nocosaurus went all crazy. It seems super important. Mm -hmm. It was. <gasps> the truth is, Sammy, I've fallen for you. Lord have mercy. Jurassic World, you know? Jurassic World. Since when did this happen in Jurassic World? I thought it was about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. Jurassic World, guys, protect the kids. Protect your kids, yeah? Sometimes you have to watch what they watch. Watch what they watch, guys. This is crazy, guys. This is Jurassic World, you know? Jurassic World and we sent our kids to bed just before this happened we didn't even know this was gonna happen this is crazy this is crazy guys guys watch what your kids are watching be careful it's everywhere now I've seen a lot of anime just because they appear to be you know a certain age doesn't mean they are they could be 700 year old vampires for all you know okay interesting I will uh, have to make sure um, what content is being viewed by children I guess um, you make your own decisions we're gonna keep it going
was cool. Never jump in lakes or ponds because I do not want to get a brain-eating amoeba. Well, the 14 year old boy ended up getting a brain eating amoeba. Doctors believe and this is what the doctor said. After swimming at a Port Charlotte beach, by after swimming, amoeba. he ended up getting this. Nicloria filori, or brain eating amoeba, is known to have 97% fatality rate, and the victims mm -hmm. actually are known to be swimming in lakes or ponds. And last month, this toddler passed away from this amoeba. What happens is when you're swimming, these amoebas live there and they travel up to your nose and they end up causing inflammation, hemorrhage, or brain bleed, causing you to have multiple different symptoms. Another picture here that it displays is that it goes up to your nose, into your brain, and causing this inflammation. Typically, what we know is that when you do get symptoms, it could occur from day one to day Swimming symptoms could range from nausea, vomiting, headache, to having seizures, neck pain, and even coma or even death. And it is true that if you do swim, you're not gonna, most likely not going to get this. But there has been 10 cases reported each year of people dying from this. So it's not worth it. Bros, I don't want to be a statistic. I may just stick with the chlorine. I may just stick with Add some coconut oil on me so I'm safe from the chlorine. We're going to keep it going. All right, listen. The craziest thing just fucking happened to me. We were literally just talking about how we wanted to get pizza tonight and that the cheap places that we get pizza from that we can fucking afford never puts enough pepperoni on the pizzas, yada, yada, yada. We were literally just talking about it. We drink Mountain Dew. We always get fucking breadsticks and we always order extra pepperoni every time. Knock on my door. And there's a lady from DoorDash there saying that, asking if I was some guy named Mark. I said, no, I'm not Mark. She goes, is this his address? And he gives me my address. Is this your address? Said, yeah. She goes, I got an order here for you. It's put on DoorDash, blah, 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 blah. I said, I'm not Mark. I knew, I told her my, my, my neighbor's names in case they fucked up. And she's like, nope, that's not, not any of those. She goes, it's named Mark. Here you go. And I was like, I don't know what to do with this. She, she was like, what do you want, free pizza? I said, sure. She hands me and no fucking shit breadsticks fucking pepperoni pizza there's a sausage and the fucking kicker extra pepperoni I, and a Mountain Dew and a Mountain Dew it's in the fridge but I got a Mountain Dew from it out of the deal too I know y'all don't I know y'all ain't gonna believe me so I'm gonna show you show you Wait, he didn't show me. I feel like uh, potentially this is fake. I there's no way. Some how would they get your name? How would they get your name? You ordered this or scheduled this and you forgot. You had one of those goon moments. It happens. It happens. How you doing, goons? Did you interact with the video like I asked? Come on now. Come on now. We ask only. I mean, like that's the only thing we ask. Come on now. All right, we're gonna keep it going. All of the tampons are poisoned. That's not even a joke. That's just life. Some of them don't have lead in them. Don't worry, those ones have arsenic. <sighs> cool, it's just in one of the most absorbent spots on the body for like 25% of the time. It's almost like there's a system designed where you have to get sick and then you struggle to afford the health care. And if you can get the health care for it, you have to work till you're 97 years old to pay it off or you die of tan poisoning. Tan poisoning was a bar. Then it made me think about sugar, which is one of the hardest things on the planet to kick. It's in everything. You don't believe me? Go open up anything in the pantry or pick up something in your house and go look at it. But Brian, this is sugar free. Your sucralose and stevia are gentrified sugar. Look up the long term effects of those bad boys. Sugar is one of those things that's so hard to kick, but we're just cool with it because you could go buy it from the corner store. Like it's insane that that's a thing. I don't know, maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion. I really want some chocolate. Bro, we just recently learned about good sugar, like the xylitol sugar that's good for your teeth, supposedly. So, hey, every, also, you just roll your own. Just roll your own tampons. That's the way. That's the way that they show in Family Guy. And it's, uh, or you can get those um, pants that you don't even have to. Never mind. TSS is a real thing. I'm just looking out for the woman goons, all right? Or whatever goons. Whatever you identify. We're going to keep it going. Cannot digest anything that's genetically modified because we do not have the fitting enzymes to digest it. 
Now the body is basically handling it as toxic waste. And this is what's so dangerous. That food is now dead and mutated, filled with pesticides or whatever it might be. The body has no idea what to do with it. Keeps on producing enzymes, trying to get produce biochemical and neuro, neuro uh, electrical reactions to somehow get rid of it. Digestion is the main cause of loss or the main use of energy. Digestion takes the most energy out of us. But now usually you digest for a certain amount of time and then you stop. But with genetically modified food, it's in your body for hours or days or weeks. And the body keeps on trying to get rid of it. There are toxic gases being created by this, by this process of rotting away. The food is not being digested. It's rotting away and constantly producing toxins and toxic gases. And this is Scott where, where, where just one element of this starts. Yo, some of these bioengineered foods don't rot, I thought. Yo, yo they used to be called GMOs. Now they're called bioengineered. Um, interesting. I'm not 100% sure because some people, uh, you just can't avoid it. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. We're going to be the cockroaches that are going to have the ultimate guts that we're going to keep on living. We're going to leave. You can't stop us. You can't stop the goons. I don't understand that that was just a does a rainbow appear like a ring in the sky wouldn't we be able to see a ring in the sky if we looked up that it don't make sense it don't make sense this view uh showing uh the satellite again uh just moving into sunrise 81 nautical miles now from Columbia. You guys getting the image? Franklin, uh, we see a long line, a couple of star-like things, and a lot of things swimming in the foreground. Can you describe what you're seeing? Well, the long line is, uh, is a tether, um, and uh, there's a little bit of debris that uh, kind of flies with us, and uh, it's uh, illuminated by the sun at such low angles. So this is this lot of stray light, and it's getting washed out uh, quickly, but uh, Quad is trying to do a... Wait, why was it getting washed out? Where was this? What is this tether? I'm so confused. What did I just witness? And then they said swimming. Is, is this underwater? It don't feel like underwater. Since when did the left become a conspiracy theorist? Hey, you're gonna ruin that for us who are independents and real conspiracy theorists. The, you're gonna say, somebody died. There was actually a dude in the crowd with his fucking brains on the ground. And I just saw the steel frame of the shooter on the fucking roof, which I have questions for the Secret Service and the police on the ground. They were point, that dude was pointed out to them and he didn't, they didn't take him down until after he shot. Stop ruining conspiracies for the rest of us. You guys make the crisis actors. What the fuck? Oh my God. I know a thing or two about a thing or two when it comes to muzzle velocity and the uh, the ripple that rounds make when they travel in the air when it's caught on camera. So let me ask you something there, tough guy. If this was crisis actors or a conspiracy that was set up, one, you only pull a stunt like this when you're losing, not when you're winning. Are you serious? This one you're not ready for. This is caught on camera too. Mm. Sorry, wrong one. It's one of the most iconic photos ever taken in this century. This is the first one. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Then a little bit more. This is caught on camera. That's the fucking bullet. That's, that's the second one, okay? You already ready for the third one? But let's zoom in. Right next to his mugshot is where he's going to paper. This is how we end up with this. That's my president. I am not sure where the goons lie between whether this was a real event or not. Hey, you let me know. You let me know. Ryan Delalo. I teach AP and honors economics in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Financial well-being to me is knowing that I can be free to do the things that I love to do. I hope when I retire someday, they say that guy made this place a special place to come to school and gave as much as he could to help the community.
P and honors economics and P and honors economics and place to come to school. Oh man, he was in the Black Rock commercial, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is something going on in the earth in New York? Mysterious sound is driving people in Brooklyn crazy. Check this clip out. Sound heard through parts of Fort Greene, Brooklyn, has been driving some people, we are told, crazy. Yeah, it's it's maddening, it's unsettling, and, and it's also just this mystery because nobody seems to know what is causing this strange humming sound. CBS 2's Kevin Rincone gives us a listen. It's profoundly annoying. As you hear the noise, it's hard to make out what it is. It sounds like somebody putting their finger on a glass and running it around the top of the cup. It sounds very much like a resonance, a harmonic resonance, like if you can picture someone rubbing the top of a crystal glass uh, or a tuning fork. How's that sound? Mo Hussein, he took video walking home one night. He's noticed the sound for over a year. I liken it to like some sort of alien invasion. It's, it's... Wow, I've heard of uh, humming sounds before around cities. Yo, I know there's New York goons out there are you guys hearing humming out there what's going on are they like fixing your frequency is it hurting you do you need to hear some other frequencies figure it out figure it out let us know let us know all right let's keep it going Oh man, I thought there would be more. I thought it was gonna zoom in on the top and show us like what it did. I, is it, was this a laser thing? What was this? Is this a DEW? This feels like a DEW. They're just gonna tell us it's lightning. We're gonna keep it going. Project Mockingbird was the project of the deep state to control us via the media, but it worked much better in an era where there were three broadcast networks. You didn't have to control that many properties. The reason that the narrative broke was because Goliath was focused on controlling the mainstream media properties, and it didn't think it had to care about the off Joe Rogan man cave stuff. Why should it care what a podcast was? Who cares what gets said on pirate radio, right? But that mattered a lot because people, when they realized they were being lied to and they were doing harm to the themselves because of those lies tuned out the mainstream media and they started searching for information elsewhere. The punchline is if you want to beat the deep state, what you need to do is you need to drag Goliath onto territory he doesn't understand. That's where we win. Okay, interesting. I never knew this. I feel like us goons, we are not mainstream. We are lurking. We are growing. We are awakening. We are continuing. Fantastic find by some of my fellow cryptid researchers. They saved this creature, and right now it is being studied. MIT has DNA. Some of major universities around the world are studying this creature. Nobody really knows what it is. If you see, in a second, you're going to notice how heavy it is. It weighs almost 500 pounds. See how the boat, the, the kayak is sinking in the back? It's a beautiful creature. Good job. Bravo Zulu. I need more proof. It definitely looks like a guy in a suit. It definitely looks like a guy. Is this a type of uh, interdimensional Bigfoot? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. People literally come up to me every single day and they say, but how do you know we're in a simulation? I'll tell you. Cars and buses. You're telling me that a bus that can seat two people and two people have an aisle running down the middle and a stairwell going up the top fits in the same lane as my tiny car that I can touch the other side of the door if I wanted to. That's just good coding by the simulation. That's how I know. That's all the proof that you need. Cars and buses. I also wonder about this, but I feel like it can be explained, but it's a, it is a simulation. So that's all the proof we need. You'll have to check this out. Watch. This is lightning coming through the firmament. Look at that. That's what you call sprites. Look at this. Check this out. Look, it gets more intense. Watch. Look at that. Like, look. What in the? Look at that. Does it? Does that look like, like water? Look at this. Look. It's like bursting out of something. Look like a barrier wall, firmament. Like, look at that. It's like. It's like coming down. Look at this. Look at that. 
What in the... Have you guys ever seen this before? Look at that. It's like bursting. Look at this. So these things are called sprites. It's almost like this, like a geyser, but like flipped upside down. Like, look at this. Like, does this look the same? Look at that. So what do y'all think? Like, this is very interesting. Like, have y'all guys ever seen that video before? No, yeah, this is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I have never seen this video before. I didn't even know about sprites. That definitely is was an interesting thing. At first, I thought it was lightning. Then it was like, hey, is it raining? Is there a firmament with it? Wait, we're talking too much. We have two more to do. We're going to do two more. I did not know that there was pharmaceutical companies involved in the making of this product. I am very confused. I'm very confused. We're going to do one more, just one more. Brought down into the carnival around those tall reptilians that put on a glowing human face and they telepath, we know that we scare you in our form. So they put on this human face and made him feel calmer. And he said they, they looked so brutal and they, they were so crocodile-ish. And yet they told him that their greatest concern was what was happening to the environment on Earth and that atomic nuclear warfare couldn't be allowed because it was breaking into other dimensions, it was destroying things on this Earth. And he got the impression that the reptilians placed as the highest priority the Earth itself more than the life form of humans and he said if they care so much about the earth and the petri dish and they told me that they have tried to deliver environmentally uh, what would be energy systems that would be good for the environment and then they've been turned into weapons then he said the reptilians say your government lies to us Wait, this is crazy. So they're here to help us? They're not just in the hollow earth, just uh, chilling out, waiting for the end times, and then they're going to be like, we're only going to save a few of you. Whoa, boy, I've heard all the theories. So reptilians are aliens too? Okay, interesting. Interesting. They're amongst the shapeshifters. There's so many things. I'm, oh, boy. We're not spiraling. We're not spiraling. I'm spiraling. All right. <laughs> Guys, you made it to the end. How'd you do? How'd you do? A little bit of a different... Uh, compilation this time um and definitely quite interesting quite interesting indeed i appreciate you guys there should be videos on the screen now click on either one of them continue your goon fix the one in the middle you can subscribe i'll talk to you guys later goodbye 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 goodbye